When it comes to constructing nonlinear graphs, I have one thing to say. Use a table of values or your CAS. It doesn't matter which you do. Um, if they ask you to do it by hand, then you need to use the table of values, of course. But or your CAS calculator. That's the easiest way to do it. For example, if you were asked to draw the graph y equals x squared, what you would do is just do a table of values because it's said to do it between negative 5 and positive 5. Okay, and then so if that's x and this is y. then you just work out what that value will be. So I'm just squaring x, so negative 5 squared is 25, negative 4 squared is 16, and so on and so forth. And then, using that table of values, you, you draw your graph. And of course, you'll do it on graph paper and you'll do everything right, but essentially it will look like that. All right? So use a table of values, use your CAS calculator. Don't stress about this, this is not tricky. The only part that is tricky about this is not the drawing of them. It's the working out the equation from the one you've been given. Okay, so the example there is question three. So we'll go over that now. So question three on page 11 has a table of values. is asking you, all right, and it says graph against graph y against x squared, then find the equation. Okay, so all you do is you do an x squared column, or row I should say. So I'm going to line it up down here. So 0 squared, 0. 2 squared is 4. 4 squared is 16. 6 squared is 36. And 8 squared is 64. And then I'm going to graph using this and this. So I'll make it so you can see both. You can't. Nuts. So this will be x squared and this will be y. So what you do is you go, well that's 64, which means that's 32, which means that's 16, which means that's about 4. That should be right. So at 0, we are at 0. So I might draw this in a different colour so you can see it. So at 0, we are at 0. At 4, we are at 10. Oh, I haven't got a scale. I need to get up to 160 makes that 80, which makes that 40, which makes that there about 10. So at 4 we go to 10. At 16 we're at 40. At 36, which will be just above 32, we are at 90, which will be about there. And at 64 we are at 160, which will be about there. And you'll notice that this is a straight line. So we can now work out the gradient of that straight line. We know the y-intercept, okay? We know the y-intercept, so we just need to work out the gradient. So for a run of 4, we rose 10. So rise over run, oh, you couldn't see what I was doing there. For a run of 4, we rose 10. So rise over run is the gradient. So we rose 10 over a run of 4, which is 2.5. And that's m. So our equation, remember, y equals mx plus c. Because it's a straight line, we can do this. However, this is actually x squared for this one. So y equals 2.5x squared. And remember, c was 0. So that is the equation for this particular relationship we were looking at. So remember, if they're asking you to graph it against something, to carry that through when you're doing your equation. Don't forget that.